So about six months ago, Cole and I bought our first home. I showed you all my empty home tour and then basically fell off the grid. Oops, let me catch you guys up. Hello, welcome to our condo. Hopefully that didn't just make you sick, my bad. Yesterday we had our keys and obviously you can tell we already started like trying to make some decisions. We went to the paint store, got um, four different samples of paint. I'm just gonna run through these real quick. We've kind of decided which two we like the most and I'm gonna paint bigger like swatches of them um, on that wall. Greek Villa leans more yellow for me in here, not my favorite. Alabaster, this is Benjamin Moore's Alabaster. I think, pretty sure Shira Williams has an Alabaster too. Um, this leans more pink in person. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. White Dove leans more green. Probably my least favorite out of these four. And then I have Smoky White, this is by Bear. It probably looks the brightest on camera, but is the darkest sample, so. <laughs> You know, funny how that works. We like the alabaster and the smoky white the best. So I'm gonna paint larger swatches on this wall over here so we can make a decision because then we're gonna paint this weekend. Okay, so that's all I've got time for today, but we've got smoky white on this side and alabaster on that side. Obviously this light's coming in through this window right here, so I feel like it's brighter on this side of the room. Therefore, when I look at it in the video, I think the alabaster looks better, but I'm in at different times of the day. You wanna see it in the morning light, you wanna see it in the evening night, light, evening light, and you wanna see it, you know, at night when you're basically just using the lights that are in your house. part now we're like pulling up the the tack strips and in here in the guest room what I'm currently struggling with is that these it's splintering can you see that so it's taking a little longer than expected but we're looking good all right guys carpet is up tacks are gone it's crazy how much more spacious these rooms feel now that that carpet's up. Good morning. I just got to the condo. Today I am prepping the walls for paint, the walls and the ceiling, the living and dining room. Now, there are a couple of things that I'm focusing on today. Number one is that I pull out all the nails and the screws, whatever's in the wall left from the previous people um, and fill in those holes because you never want to be influenced by somebody else's decision on where they hung art or mirrors or, you know, decor, what have you. Then I will dust the walls. I know that sounds crazy, but like when you're cleaning your house, I never, I never clean my walls, but your walls are actually incredibly dusty. So you want to make sure that you dust them so that when you roll the paint, it doesn't mess up your paint job. You know, it could cause like little clumps of d d dust. <laughs> dust I got my Swiffer and this is like the dusting pad they have 
and we're gonna hit the ceiling. Back at the house today, it's day three of painting this living room. And I'm gonna make sure it's the last day. Tomorrow, we have the flooring guys coming in. They're gonna sand and stain the living and dining room. So we need this. We don't like need this to be finished painting, but it's just gonna be easier to like help our process along. Like we've given ourselves like a timeline of where we want things to be done by. And therefore we need this painting to be done. So it's almost done, as you can see. Woo. Get right ahead of the house to see the stains. We're seeing four different stains, nutmeg, early American, provincial, and special walnut. We have red oak floors, so can't wait to see. Uh, we can take a look and see what stains look good to us. Yeah. Good does that look? It's awesome. And then they're gonna lace right here. Let me get the floors going. So they're obviously not done sanding the floors yet. They've still got to go around the edges. But wild! So yeah, still got quite a bit of sanding to do in here in the kitchen. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what the bedrooms look like. Sorry, it's a little dark. But oh my gosh. Guys, this used to be carpet. <gasps> How seamless that flows. We almost did like a divider here because we thought that the subfloor was going to be higher. So we thought it was going to be like a quarter of an inch higher. But thankfully it wasn't once we got the um, stuff, the carpet pulled up. But because we can now do this seamless flow. I'm so happy that we're doing this. I mean, it's... It is fairly expensive, but I think it's going to be totally worth it in the end. And I just cannot wait till it's done. Now I just hope that I picked the right color. <laughs> but obviously I'm going to keep you updated. I don't think there's stain tomorrow. They might stain tomorrow. So we'll have to see what it looks like. First impression. Nicole says they uh, stained the floor today. <laughs> they they're beautiful. I mean it's a completely different place. Look at the kitchen, this looks great. Do you like it? I love it. Oh um, so this isn't this is without the uh finish. Right. So it looks a lot lighter and it looks a lot matte. Drier. Yeah. I really, actually, I honestly really like the dry look, but I know that we need the finish for it to like, you know, you just maintain. It. Yeah. yeah. But it looks really, really good. 